muted. I checked all this. Oh my gosh, he had us muted. Oh. All right. <laughs> you say you check I all these things. I sit down I here and I check sure. all these things, but I think what happens, what's the weird thing about the setup, is that sometimes when you go to um, do any kind of changes, um, I yeah. think it sort of defaults something. Back things. to something else. Yeah. Well, he's got all these things hooked up to make all the sounds supposedly better. We'll see if it actually really is. I don't know. But he's been doing it for a while, so you guys would tell us, right? So. If it wasn't all good. Anyways, I'm Jody. I'm Denny. Welcome back to Red Wine and Wit. We're so excited today. Um, we've actually been waiting to um, do this particular wine tasting for several, several weeks. I've been really, really eager to taste this particular wine. Yay! Let's see if I move it this way. Oh, by the way, yesterday. This way. There we go. More centered. Send it on you. I don't know what you're talking no, about. No, I'm like falling off the side. The side over here. Why can't you just get side. closer to no, me? No, because I got this. I got things. <laughs> got, got a, like a little thing. Oh my oh. gosh. Uh, um, so, the, 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 uh, I, I wanted to tell you really quickly before we get started with today's tasting. Um, yesterday, we made a huge trip to uh, Costco. And that's kind of a big deal for us. We go a few times a year because it's not nearby. We have to like venture and it's a two hour drive just to get to the Costco. So, but we went yesterday and we brought back a case of wine and we're super excited about it. And if you um, want to check out the, uh, the, the wine haul that we got, our whole unboxing video we did last night when we got back. You can check that out uh, in the, the link in the description. I'll yeah, we did that last night. Did it last night. So I'll put the link to that video in the description underneath this video. So, so go check it out. It's so exciting. Yeah, so we found out that um, us p uh, putting the uh, the VR code onto the screen doesn't really work. Doesn't really work. We tried to do it ourselves and to like see if we can get it and it didn't work out. That's okay. Uh, Jody's going to be making links. Yes, um, on redwhiteandwit.com. That's going to directly link there. everything, and we're, we're also have the schedule. Yeah, we're going to have it all whole, scheduled on the yeah. website, so you can go check out the, the schedule over there to see what so wines we're going to be doing ahead of time, so you can go grab your bottle and join us live right here. Yeah. Sweet. All right. You know, it's all about living and learning. Living I mean, and learning. That's what we're doing. Say lobby, right? Say lobby. All right, Denny. So let's go ahead and talk about the wine we're doing today. Grab the bottle and let's uh, show. Do you have what the picture of the bottle? Right of course here. I do. What is this one? It's not, right there. Is this the that one? No, no it's the cab. That right this there. Is the cab. Click that button. Cab. There it is. It's the Tacana Cabernet Pinot uh, Cabernet Sauvignon Pinotage. So this is a blend of a Cabernet and a Pinot Noir. And um. Do, 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 do. Does it say anything on here? Tucana is one of the star constellations of the group known as the Southern Birds. No, that's that's just talking about Tucana. That's itself. So th that's okay because I actually have some tasting notes that we can look at. I'll I'll let you grab this and switch over to uh, the tasting notes, and I will talk about um, the tasting notes for this wine. All right, that is no. Tucana. That's the Shiraz Merlot. That's not the right one. That's the one that was in here. Where's the other one? Is it off? Is it on? Mm -hmm. Is this the one right here? Oh, that's the other one. So this is the Cab Pinotage right here. Yep. Uh, so it is a red blend. It's a Cabernet and a Pinotage. Uh, and it's this uh, 2019 vintage. Um, characterized by the black currant and dark fruit flavors. Oh, that's of the Pinotage, by the way. Earthy aromas with light notes of smoke and oak. Medium bodied with smooth tannins and bursting with flavor. Pair this one with beef game or roasted poultry. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, this one should this is be our big perfect. game. That's our big game. Yeah. It's, it's beef seasoned. game. Beef game. That's what it's, you said. It's our. It's our. Uh, uh, it's seasoned meat, so yeah. it's it's something. It's something, but um, yeah. So I'm I'm re really excited about this one because it's. Com I know. Every time we get on the video, the dogs start going over there and chomping on the kibble, which is back here behind us. Behind they us they, they seek attention. They do seek attention. Really? Or, ner really? or nervous eating. Really? Because ah! Jody told, her, told, told him to stop barking earlier, so now he's just, so now he's just eating. nervous eating. He's anxious eating, stress eating. Yeah. <laughs> she sees worse than a girl. I'm telling you, he's just funny. So anyway, I've been really excited about trying this wine because it's com combining two of my favorite types of wine, 
uh, the cab and the pinotage. So yay, let's get this show going, Denny. I've got my glass right here ready to go. So bring it. Okay, ready? Yes. Wait, no, I mean, we gotta go to a different screen though, hold on. Oh yeah, we do. Big screen. Go back to the big screen, Denny. Let's All right. And take out our wine. Yeah, bottle. take the wine bottle. Out. See, you should let me be doing some of this stuff. He won't let no. me touch the. He won't let me touch but the you, you move too fast. You're I like, do move too like, fast because I know what I'm doing. You're I'm like, let's, give me an impromptu movement. <laughs> so there. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. It's I like pushing the buttons too. It's like spitting out. It's like spitting out. I it got on my arm right no, here. It was like doing spittles. Spittles everywhere. All right. Oh, that smells delicious. My mustache is getting all crusty. I know we gotta get. We got. I told you we gotta get some more. More glasses. That's a heavy pour there. Look at this. What is? What is oh, this? Oh, bring yours over here. What, what is that? Come here, jealousy. <laughs> oh, Daddy. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's that's you we didn't know. We didn't paper towels. I oh, know. I didn't get any. You didn't get any either, though. So that's all yeah, good. You're going to get towel. some right now? He's getting the paper towels. What are you going to do? Oh, my gosh. That's all good. I think I got some on the outside of my That's why we got here. the condom on for the keyboard. We got a keyboard condom keyboard because condom. we already have uh, had some issues with some of my keys sticking and then popping them off and discovering some sticky substances on the bottom of them. It's wine. The underside. It's all wine. The dog is... Putting his head in my lap right now. All right. He doesn't even like wine, so. Mm. It's a lot of wine to be uh, aerating in the glass like this. Oh my goodness, what a heavy pour we got today. Oh yeah. That smells. Familiar, it's all familiar smell. <clears throat> yeah, cause it's like the current smell, the, um, the um, jammy smell. It smells real jammy. Jammy, jammy, and more jammy. I love it. Smells like it's got some oak in it. Didn't we read something about oak? No. Well, I'm ready if you're ready. Are you ready? Yep. Airplane mode, y'all. Love it. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Sweet on the lips. But got some bite. It's got a little bite in the back of your throat. Yeah. That's that stuff I like. It's so good. What do you think? Did you like it or not? Uh, so far, it's decent. So far, let's have another sip and see what we think. Mmm. Mmm. South Africa. Yeah, that's some really good stuff. I like it. It's sweet on the on the front of your tongue and on your lips. And it's got a lot of like more complex flavors right in the middle of your mouth. It's nice. That is a grape. That is more than a grape. It's a globe. It's ginormous. Um, 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 mm -hmm. mm. These are really sweet, though. Mmm, cheers. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. A little tart. Add a little tartness to the wine. Mm hmm. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to go meat with the, just the cheese, not the meat and cheese together. Mm-hmm. I mean, this one on the front is the Gouda. This lighter colored one is the Havarti. It's good. Hmm. Oh, much better than the, with the meat and cheese. Much better. Mm, that's delicious. Much better than meat and cheese. I'm going to have it with just the meat now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Much better than meat and cheese. You know that uh, sausage, that summer sausage is um very flavorful. I really like that flavor. Very peppery. I like it so far, Joey. You do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was just for you. That is I'm liking this meat and cheese. Freaking thing, Laura. So good. That's really, really good. I really like it with the meat and the cheese both. Separately, not together. All right, so we got some nice looking strawberries here. Oh, <laughs> man. Strawberry. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. That's a good strawberry. Mm. Sweet. 
Oh, that's lovely. That balance as well. Oh, that's very nice. That balance as well. Now, should we try the other thing over here that I put on the I'm plate? Sour. I put some sweet, sweet, you know, um, surprise on here today. It's just like what we had last week for Valentine's Day. I couldn't resist getting more of these. Going so, for the aloes. I'm doing this. You know, it goes with mm. the olives too, because you know, I always consider the olives sort of have like this, um, I don't know, meaty type taste. Mm-hmm. It's that bitterness. All right, I'm gonna do what you're doing. I'm gonna get one of the special, mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. special ones. Yum, that's delicious. I could eat that all day. Special. I think I figured out what dinner's gonna be. <laughs> special. <laughs> okay. Mm. I got all this sweet in my mouth right now. Mm. Sometimes those things are difficult to eat, aren't they? Oh, and bad thing. They it crumbles off, yeah. All right. What'd you do with my thing? Oh, it's over here. This is your thing right here that you're supposed to be using for your olives, and you're not doing a very good job. There you go. I'll put it right there for you. All right. Going in. I like the kalamatas. I'm doing that. Strawberry, target, good. Yep, all good things. Mm hmm. I'm going to go ahead and have another one of these just to kind of make sure that my palate's clear of all the sweet stuff. Mm hmm. Kalamata olives are so good. Nope. Look, it's right there. <laughs> mm, I don't think I like it with the calamatas. Mm -mm. That hit the back of my mouth, the back of my throat, with a really strong, bitter flavor. I'm still on the strawberry. Oh, I didn't eat the whole thing. I just took a bite. Now I'm going to have some of this chocolate. Chocolate! Our 85% dark chocolate. Very delicious. It's actually very healthy for you. I mean, the chocolate's on a strawberry is like a milk chocolate. Yeah, it's a semi-sweet. We talked about that last week. Mm. It's not milk chocolate. I think it's semi-sweet. Mmm, that's delicious. That is my favorite. It's always my favorite. I don't even know why I say it. Because everybody knows that's my favorite every time. So, yeah, I like the meat and cheese. Uh, the strawberry, the chocolate strawberry, and the chocolate a lot. And, and I think that those flavors like really don't. The well is, is, the, is the great. Great? That's the least like. I, it's my least favorite out of the ones I liked, but I, I could sit and do that. You said I the calamari think, was. Uh, the calamata, I just don't like that at all. I could do the grapes. I just, they're not, they're not my favorite. There's a nice even subtly, subtle mm. lead with the, um, the meat and cheese. I'm gonna have some more of that just because. Might as well. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I've been baking today because today is my sweet girl Sasha's birthday. I made him a cake. It's cooling on the stove right now. I made them frosting out of Greek yogurt and peanut butter. I'm so excited to share it with them. Yum. Y'all wanna see which one is Sasha? Sasha, come here, my girl. Sasha's my girl who likes coffee and wine. She's the one that always wants to have the She's wine. coming to the stage. She's coming to the stage right now. Come here, my baby girl. You want to come up? Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Hi, girl. You want me to lift you up? There she is. This is our Sasha, baby girl. Show some of the food. Today is Sasha's birthday. I think she should get some wine. Did you want some wine? You want some wine, girl? Daddy, you want to give her a, a, a taste of your wine? <laughs> this is my girl. So today is Sasha's seventh birthday, my sweet girl. Yeah. Yeah. Mwah. All right, come on back down, girl. All right, it's time for me to talk about the rating. All right, well, let's talk about that then. All right, Denny. Show my screen. Okay, so our rating system is based on a, a one to 10 scale. So 
um, if we give it one to three glasses, that means that this shit is terrible. Do not drink it. Um, even if it's free, you're still running the risk of ending up giving yourself a nasty hangover, a nasty headache, or worse. So just, you know, avoid it. Walk away. It's not worth it. Um, if we give it four or a five, then that's going to be what I call my wedding quality wines, right? This is the kind of wine that you're going to have at a large scale event um, where people are giving it away for free. Uh, feel free to drink it. It's going to be fine. Just know that it's not going to be the best quality wine and um, you're probably not going to go out and buy it on your own. Anything that we give a six, seven, or eight to, these are your decent everyday wines. These are what I call the apothics because the apothic wines, I would keep them in my house all day long, every day and twice on Sunday. Um, and you never know when you're going to need, you know, an extra bottle of wine on hand, like for a gift, like you're going to someone's house really quick or somebody comes over and has a personal emergency and needs to sit down and, and chew the shit with you. And this is the perfect bottle of wine to keep on hand just for those types of things. Anything that we give a 9 or a 10, these are going to be the superior wines. They're going to have a nice body. They're going to have beautiful flavors. They're going to explode in your mouth and be amazing. Grab these any chance you get. They're great for any occasion. And if you do have a little extra cash that you want to spend for a dinner party or you're going to a, a party and you want to bring a bottle of wine, you know, these are the kind of wines that you should invest your money in and always keep these on hand. So there you go. That's our rating system in a nutshell. There's one more category though, and that's the unicorn. This one's the one that's cranked up to 11. It has to be above and beyond everything I just said about the nines and tens. And um, those are obviously rare. So if, if, we, if we feel like it's really at that unicorn level, it's gonna have to go above and beyond and do a little bit more than just be amazing. It's gonna have to be above amazing. So. Obviously, they're the Tom Brady of our uh, wine judging at this point. So oh, we actually do have a Tom Brady category that we haven't created a slide for just yet. And we are going to pick one this year, I think. The GOAT. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we get to the end of the year and we have a few 10s and 11s, we're going to like look at all of them all together and just see which one is going to fill that spot who's going to be the goat and it may not be anybody but it might be one of the wines that we tried this year so keep an eye out for that we'll be coming back to you for that um, a little bit later in the year all right all right denny i'm going to need a little more to sample before i make my final decision That's beautiful. Nicely poured. Look at that. It's not even too much. Oh, sorry. My bad. I'll hold that for you. Thank you. Nice. Good job. You did much better this time. I don't understand what happened the first time. Maybe he needed to have a Had little bit up. of wine. Had to get, get warmed, warmed up, up, my friend. Yes, warmed up. exactly. So we can like settle, settle the nerves. Like before the, and you know, before that. the game, the first quarter, you know, you might get your jitters out. <laughs> all mm. right. Mm. So, it is time, my friends. It is time to grade this wine. What is the wine that you say? It is Tucana. Tucana from South Africa. This we're is going a Cabernet to, Sauvignon Pinotage. We're going to be Which means it's a this. blend. A right. blend gonna get of my, both the Cab and the Pinot. I'm going to get my handy nanny marker out. Markers are important. We need to have those. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. You ready? Yep. Good. Let's do it. I, was, I wish I had more time to be more artistic. I know, we need to get the longer drum. I guess we do. The longer, I'm, I'm, I'm just drawing some hearts. It's okay. It's nothing big. This really, really, this is really, really freaking good. Ready? Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> okay, go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> mm. Okay, so why Jordan gave it 10? Yeah. Jordan gave it 
Ten. Ten. What? What? All right. Well, I, I'll just tell you. Cab and Pinot are kind of my two favorite reds. And having a, a combination of the two of them together, I, I knew I probably would like it. But it actually exceeded my expectations. So I was like, okay, I haven't given a 10 in a really long time. But I, I feel like this one's a good one. So I would buy this like over and over again because it's really, really good. And I've, I'm really enjoying it. So why did you give it an 8? Why didn't you give it a 9 or a 10? Um, 8s are good. Oh, I know. 7, 8, 9. So I don't know. That was not the joke, was it? <laughs> Oh, I was like, what happened to nine? I forgot that part. Oh, seven, eight, nine. It's so. good. Um, it just wasn't a full ten for me. Okay, so why? Um, it is, tends to me I'm being a little bit more scrutinized. Oh, since last year when you gave out a couple of unicorns, this year you're going to be a little bit more. Um, so in my mind, in my mind, right? I'm, I'm comparing tens to be. <laughs> Sort of like that red blend that I had with um, Snoop Dogg. So, oh, that was a really nice red so blend. That Cali I red. I always kind of balance it, that one. balance the taste of where I'm at with that. It's too away from be being a Snoop Dogg. It's too away. Too away from being a Snoop Dogg. Okay, I got you. Okay, you guys understand that when we rate these wines, it's based on our personal preferences of what we actually like she to She likes cabs, so... I love cabs. I like red wine blends. I like pinots. I like blends. And, and I like blends too. So if you notice, love probably them. I will probably grade blends a little bit more higher than I do with a Shiraz or a cab. Even a cab, a straight cab. Ah, yeah. Or any other bad. red blends, red, I, red, and, red, and red like, wines. And I feel like there's some some amazing blends out now, there. And this is a blend, just so you know. Well, it's a blend. Yeah, but I mean, not not. It's not. It's a cab. It's not a cab. That's not live. It's not a it's cab. It's Cabernet Sauvignon. It's not a cab. It, it is. It's on the bottom. Cab. Cabernet Pinotage. It's, Most it's, what is the first? What, listen. First rule of ingredients. Mm -hmm. What has the most in there? Cab. First ingredient is always the most, right? So um, it's a yeah. cab. It's got cab. cab. Otherwise, it would say red wine blend. Well... There are some that, that blend it out a little bit more evenly. So what I'm saying... Or with more different... Um, like the one that we were talking about yesterday with the love. But what I'm saying is that I've had some good cabs. I know you have. To where I've given it a 10. Mm-hmm. This one just didn't make that mark for me. All right. That's it's not bad. Fine. It's not bad. I just wondered if there was something in particular. It's in the upper like. echelon. I know. It's really good. I enjoy I said that. it went well with, with the arrangement here, except for the grapes. But... um. No, no, it's an eight. It's an eight. It's an eight. It's an eight. It's a, it's it's a, it's a gifter. It's a gifter. It is a gifter. Yes, it's definitely a great wine to to purchase and keep it's around a gifter. the house. It's a, a um, gift for something. Now here, okay. How much time I got? All right, twenty-four. Here's what I would say: it's a gifter. Um, but if it is a special moment, a special day. I probably would go a little bit above this one. I actually really, really like this one. So I think this one would be a great one to give as a gift. Special so. day, I would probably go a little bit more. A little higher end. All right. Well, um, eight is just like a regular everyday kind of one. So there you go. All right. So at this point in our, in our show, it's time to talk about the movie of the week. So tomorrow. Yeah, we actually haven't seen it yet. We're dying what to see it. What came out on Thursday out. was the new movie Uncharted. Yeah. Have you all seen it? Have you seen it yet? Don't tell us about it yet. Yeah. But anyways, Aiden, my son, who um, doesn't actually always vouch for going to movies, Ugh. said he wanted to see this one. So I was like pretty, I, know, I was super, right? you know, super excited. Um. It is based on a video game. I am aware of it. I've never played the video game. I've seen plenty of commercials throughout my time with the video game. Mm -hmm. And it is a story. It is a basically like a lot of like video games of today. It does have like an arching story, right? So they built a movie around that actual story. Um, and I pulled up like a Wikipedia and I think it came out 
2007. So that's how old is? this movie, I mean, this the, not movie, but the how old this, is. the game is. That's funny. It started in um, 2007. It was one of those PlayStation 3 <laughs> sort of like, you know, when you've seen all the commercials, mm -hmm. that's what PlayStation 3 was doing, was putting out like Uncharted. That's so weird. I don't remember seeing any commercials for well, Uncharted. Well, if you didn't really I like, saw Call of like Duty. video games, you would pay attention to that. No, I saw a lot of Call of Duty stuff. but <clears throat> Well, it had like Uncharted 2007. It also had was the other 2009. Game? They came out with... The, the, see, I don't even know when 2000... It, this is... Um, Drake's Fortune, which was the first one in PlayStation 3, was in 2007. It was, was a sequel. So I don't even know where the original, the original one, one is. It didn't say where the original one came from. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but uh, maybe maybe it was on. Uh, looks like it's like Microsoft. So maybe it was on like actual. Um, what? Like, like like a computer game. It was oh a computer my game. God. So um, but either way, it was Uncharted Two. Some of y'all might be real Die Hard fans. You might know more than I do. Yeah, I'm not gonna but uh, so it was 2007, 2009, 2011. Uncharted Four. Um, and then PlayStation 4 came out, and then they had an Uncharted Golden Abyss. Then it went on to Vita. Then it went on to other things, right? And now we're at a movie. Now there's um, a movie. So what is it all about? Um, if I was to kind of gauge what I gather this movie's about. It's an adventure quest. It's a treasure hunter, <laughs> right? It's a treasure movie. It's it's Indiana Jones in a different format. Well, and, and that's not the first time that there's been a movie like that based on a video game. Well, that's what it I says. Mean, it says Nathan Drake is a treasure hunter that travels across the world to uncover various historic mysteries. What does that sound like to you? It sounds like Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. You're right. It does rehashed. Like Indiana Jones. Oh my God, Only thing so is, cool. is that now they got two players. They got Mark Wahlberg and Oh, yeah, Spider Mark guy. Wahlberg. And Tom Holland is Tom his Holland. name. He's fantastic. I like him. So... Excited. Haven't seen it yet. Um, super excited. Definitely. Would, and it was, we're going to see it tomorrow. Yeah, and yeah. Um, we'll tell you about it like next week. We kind of like, we can peer in when we talk about the next movie. There's yeah. a couple movies that came out on HBO, though, that's not on here. Oh, wait, let me just do this real quick because we do have a graphic. This is what it looks like. The Uncharted. Oh, yeah. Uncharted. Look but, at that. That's uh, Antonio Banderas. And Antonio Banderas is in is there. And Andrew Cruz in there. Yeah, there's a lot of big and players. There's in a here. lot of big names in this, and and of course Mark Wahlberg. And Who you know that's the craze, right? Mark Wahlberg, right comic now. books, comic video books games video are games. now just becoming movies. Well, because why? Marvel and made it a Disney, thing, and it's huge. And, and Disney, Disney is that. also turning their cartoons into live action, so it's kind of a fun thing, right? Okay, it's so what's what, what's what's going on with that? Do you know of any? The Little Mermaid's coming up. They're making a Little Mermaid at live action. They've already did Aladdin. They've already did um, Mulan. Uh-huh. Uh, what else have they done? Little Mermaid, really? Little Mermaid's coming up next. Right. Little Mermaid's coming up next. Sure is. Mm. Um, but that's what I'm saying. They're, they're making all kinds of different movies based off from like things we've grown up with. But um, it's exciting. Um, I'm glad to see these things getting kind of like a little bit more. I'm sure the gamers out there are really enthused about this because it is something that they see. You know, because if you ever play video games of today, well, they have little vignettes. They have vignettes of like movies. Like literally games of today are kind of like mini movies in the beginning and throughout. Because when you're playing a video game, let's say, for example, I was playing Call of Duty the other day. Um, it actually has like a little movie scene. And you see a little bit of the drama in the middle. In the, and then you go on to the game part, right? Mm -hmm. So things now today are no longer your Pac-Mans. They're no longer your little pixels anymore. It's not they space now movies. have like motion picture type of things and happening. And it's that quality too. Even like your spores. I have Madden. They're... We're trying to make it as real as possible, right? Mm -hmm. That's the whole part of like games is we're really trying to move towards real. Um, Which is great. I love so that. it's kind of a cool thing. But so that is the new movie. If you have not seen it yet, uh, if it's near your theater, mm -hmm. if you want to go see it out there. Oh, and what I was getting to, HBO and Netflix. Um, well, I know especially I still know especially Netflix. Netflix has said that they are putting out a movie a week. A week. So, and what I just found out is that Stranger Things is coming out. Stranger Things is going to have season four mm -hmm. with a sign-on for season five. They're going to split season four from, uh, well, let's see. Season five. They're going to have the, coming out in May, they're going to have the, they're going to have opening of season four. And then in July, they're going to have 
the second part. They're going to split it in two parts. How they're doing like Ozark, same thing. thing. Oh, so I don't Stranger like Things is doing that because they're trying to spread that out a little bit. And then we're they're going to have a season five. Season five will be the final of, of, of Stranger Things. So see, so Netflix is doing a, a, a movie week, and I think that HBO has not advertised to do a movie week, but pretty They've much they're coming out it. with a movie a week. They've been doing so, it. So like this week, they came out with two that came open. Do well, all right, let's backtrack. One and then one they done before, because they did the um the Sopranos prequel. Prequel they oh, had it for thirty back. days because you know HBO has been known for doing thirty days, and then it goes to the theater. So now they brought it back. So they brought it back real like we knew it was going to be we missed it in theater and we did um so it's available and then and i can't remember whether it's like newark something i can't remember the, i can't remember what the whole title is I'll but, look it up. I'll but, look it up but the thing talking. is is that's going to be the prequel is, is, is prequel to uh sopranos and then they also have the um the third installment is it the third installment of the king is it the king's man i think it's the king's man yeah the king's man it was the kingsman series is the king's man it's like the it's how like they the started. Prequel. It's how like where it, got where it all started. came from. It is out on HBO. Man, it is exciting to know what things are out there in the movies. Um, if you guys are across the world, I know this is going to be a little different because you may not be either you already had it or you're going to have it. But man, it's exciting. I'm loving movies. I'm okay, loving it's mine. Called, it's called The Many Saints of Newark. The Many Saints that of Newark. That is the yes. prequel. It's the prequel, right? Yeah. To uh, The Sopranos, The Many Saints of New York. I'm excited about this one. But that's it. Uncharted is the deal for the movie for this week. And we also have one more thing. We're at 32 minutes. Um, We're going a little bit late today. We are now moving out of the Splash Wine so series. This, one, this is the last of our Splash Wines. We're so sad. <laughs> last one of the series. We yep. completed 18, 18 bottles. That, bottles of wine that we yes, had. Yes, that Splash is the last wine. one. This is our last one. So next week, we're going to start with our brand new haul of And do you have the picture on here? You don't have the picture on here, though. That's oh, okay. No, I That's all right. We'll just show it. We actually showed it in our, our uh, preview. But here it is. That is it. Castle Grave. Castle Grave. Yep. 2017. <laughs> with a 92 point of James who? Suckling. James yes. Suckling. So it's already That's got a rating of 92. For First James Costco Suckling. one on the list. Oh, and by the way, this is a Chianti. Chianti. So get your sons of the Lambs movie. Or what is the other one we're going to have to watch? The prequel. Newark's the the blah, 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 blah. the many kings of Newark, right? No, 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 not that one. Of oh, oh, Stein and Lamb, Manhunter. Oh, Manhunter! Yes. We're so Man watching Hunter. that movie. We gotta again. watch Manhunter. Oh, I've God. seen it, and Denny has never seen Manhunter. And if you guys know CSI, the original one from Las Vegas, and you are a fan of Grissom, he's the guy in that movie who actually caught. Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. And it's so good. Oh, so I got to see so, that. It's so 70s. Though. So yeah. if you're going to just like get a Chianti, if you don't have this one particularly, go get a Chianti. Go get a Chianti. Watch on Friday. This one. Watch on Friday. Watch Signs and Lands so you can be ready for it. Yep. Oh, big it. Chianti. Nice Chianti. So that's one for next week. That's next week. And so, Jody, that is pretty much it. Do you want to get us an outro telling us to go touch this right here? You guys, thank you so much for being with us today. We always appreciate you. And if you missed us live, no worries. Watching the replay is awesome too. But listen, click this little link right down here and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the little bell so you get the notifications whenever we go live. We do this every Saturday at 5.30 Central Standard Time. We did a little early today yeah we somehow we got off on our time and we she just kept wanting to get it earlier that's all <laughs> i don't know why maybe i did just want to get to the wine faster i don't know it's saturday she we'll said it's five o'clock it's somewhere it's five o'clock somewhere maybe that's why i started at five o'clock mm. i started doing five o'clock instead of five thirty. but i think we're going to go back to five thirty. are we going to go back to five thirty, or should i me. just change my things it doesn't matter to me should we just stay at five five is fine five o'clock is Freaking fantastic. I think we should keep it at five. Five o'clock Central Standard Time, Saturdays, every Saturday, right here. So come back and see us next week. We'll be here same time, same place. And until then, 
Have a fantastic night and drink some wine and have a good time. You gotta say my new saying. Same time, same place, drink wine. Same time, same place, drink wine. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>